Hi everybody, this is Jennifer Farrell, your Usborn Books Lady, or at least I hope to be. If you are new to Usborn, I am so excited to introduce these amazing books to you. At this point, we have probably already gone over why breeding is important, why books matter, why you need them in your home, and then of course, now that we've established that, we say, well, why Usborn? Why Usborn Books and More? This is Usborn and Kane Miller Publishing, and I'm super excited to introduce and let you look at them. We've discussed the whys, we've discussed how awesome the company is, the amazing prices, now you get to see the books. So, I wanna say thank you so much for joining the party. Um, and just so you know, if you haven't noticed already, I've got little ones running around in the background. My older one is, oh, my older one is away at the moment. Sorry, my camera's all funky. And I don't do a lot of editing because I want you guys to know that I am a real person. Um, I am a mom. I am a book lady. I am a businesswoman, absolutely. Um, but my family comes first. And because my family comes first, my business is close behind that because your family is involved in that. And I know with you, your family comes first. And I want you to know that that matters to me. So I am open for questions. I am open for anything that you need help finding books. I'm going to be talking sort of quickly because I don't want to waste your time. I know you've got this going on in the background. I've got kids music going on. My little guy still has dinner on his face. So I want to get you back to your family as well as get mine some baths. I don't know why my messages keep coming up. So anyway, as I said, yeah, I put on a little bit of makeup for this because otherwise my face would look all white and lit. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, I've got my pajamas on and I am ready to hang out with you guys. So let's go through some books. As you saw in the last post, I hope, um, the little graphics showing the different categories we have. We have something for every age and we have something for every kid. Something that will draw them in. If they're not a reader, we've got to find something they're already interested in. It could be an activity book. It could be a chapter book, a certain genre that they like. It could be a nonfiction book with a subject that they're interested in learning about. It could be, of course, you've got your babies and your toddlers that'll pretty much look at almost anything, but we've got ones that um, will attract them even better. Um, and then, of course, uh, what are they, picture story? Oh, picture storybooks, so, which are amazing. So let's get started with our baby and toddler. What's the matter with Wesley, honey? Oh, Wesley wanted to go outside by himself. Oh, it's okay. Why don't you let him outside? Okay, sorry, again, <laughs> real mom here. So, my favorite, favorite baby books are our cloth books. We have some amazing new ones. This is one of my all-time favorites, so it's only in $9.99. This thing's less than $10, and it's got a teething ring on it. They can chew on it, they can do whatever they want with it, but it still has a little story. It says, hello, baby. Good morning, monkey. And it talks to all these animals, and it's so super cute, I love it. It's a story along with a toy. This kept my little guy from fussing in the car a lot. So these are super fun. Um, we also have very small for those little hands. We've got all sorts of books about machines, about just random words that they can learn with the high contrast of colors. Um, these ones are awesome for those little hands. We've got four different sets of these. When you open them up, there are nine different books inside. These are super cute. The animal ones are awesome because you learn about the animal. I am a snake. My home is a hole. My baby's called a snicklet. I eat mice and I hiss. Super cute. So these, I love these for those little hands. We also have a set of books that is my little Wesley's favorite, um, Little Red Penguin. There are four books. Hi, Willie. This one is particularly colors, but what I love about it is yes, it has flaps and I know that scares everyone, but because every single flap on every page pulls down in the same direction and is about the same size and fairly sturdy, they don't get beat up too much. This is a great way for them to learn their fine motor skills, a way for them to learn to take care of those flaps without them being too difficult. Where a lot of the other flat books we have, the flaps are going in all different directions, which you'll see, which is great for when they're older. <laughs> These ones I love for them to learn to take care of them and be nice with them, um, but they hold together a lot better. Our top sellers for our baby books are our touchy feelies. Guys, these are amazing. These are called the That's Not My Books. Every page has something for them to touch and feel. That's not my puppy, its tail's too fluffy. And the little mouse is the one telling a story. He's looking for his puppy. That's not my puppy, its paws are too bumpy. Yeah. Puppy. So anyway, it goes all the way through and that's my puppy. Its nose is so squashy. 
Oh, so so there are about 40 of these in print right now. We've we've released 50 titles. The first, the 50th is That's Not My Unicorn. Super cute books. You can get those in a set as well. We have a That's Not My Zoo set. Watch out, baby. Okay, so toddlers are going to need those still those sturdy board books um, that they can look through and be independent with on their own, but that are going to hold up. All Better is one of our favorites. You get to take the bandages and you get to put them on the animal's ouchies. So they go through the book, they fall down, they scratch things, and you get to put a bandage on it. You clean it, kiss it, put a bandage on it. Put its bandage on. Oh, yeah. look at that. These are super fun. The reusable stickers are super durable. I'll show you how thick they are. You can see they're like super thick. They're not stickers. These are reusable. They're called stickers, but they're much thicker than stickers. Can I? We also have a whole bunch of these board books, how to's. We have ABC pop up book. Pop up? Alfie and Bet go through and argue about which letters are the Whoa. best. And they have a lot of fun with that. And still in our board book realm, our babies and toddlers, we have some flaps that are gonna challenge them a little bit more. So real bright colors, not a lot of words, but they get to explore. My little two-year-old loves these. He loves anything with wheels though, so that intrigues him. But he likes to go through and move all the flaps and he's really learning to take good care of them. So it takes some time to teach them that, but they love these. So those are lift, lift and look. Okay, so our picture and story books is what I'm gonna go through next. And guys, I have a stack down here and I'm not gonna have time to show them all to you. So um, I'm just gonna breeze through quickly. This is one of our newest ones. I got it free at convention. It's called Also an Animal. Guys, this is so sweet. It basically says that if you were a calf, then I'd be a moose. I'd teach you to tug tasty twigs till they're loose. It just says, if you were this animal, I'd be one too. And it says things really silly in there too. Like, if you were a poult, then I'd be a turkey. Our family would march in line. Herky-jerky. And it's just super cute. And it's about being there for your kids and being a family together. I love it. Another new title is Grandma's Favorite and Grandpa's Favorite. I cry when I read this because it's just that connection between a grandma or grandpa and their um, grandkids. That no matter who you are, you are their favorite. Um, and it talks about all these different um, multicultural families, but all these different things that grandmas and grandpas do with their grandkids. So really, really super cute. Um, Nibbles, guys, this is a book you will never see the like to. It has cutouts. It has books inside of a book. This is Nibbles the Book Monster, and he escapes from the book, and he finds his way into all these different fairy tales. Goldilocks, he interrupts her story. Little Red Riding Hood, he finds his way in there. And all the way through the book, he's nibbling, causing mischief, but we finally catch him in the end. But I won't want to spoil what happens after that. So these cutouts are super fun. Hip and Hop is also another one of my favorites that my kids love. It is a very encouraging, exciting, fun book to read. Ellie, why don't you tell them about this book? Can you do it with me? Uh, Say, you can do anything. Wait, oh. I want to do it by myself. Okay. You can do anything if you try. You can do anything right or fly. Don't let anybody tell you no. Focus on dreams and go. Practice, practice, and you'll be a winner. Every expert starts a beginner. Join, dancing, playing the drum with the whole lot of practice, and you'll be the one. You can do anything if you try. You can do anything, right or fly. Don't let anybody tell you no. Focus on your dreams and go. Good job, Ellie. <laughs> Good job, baby. Thank you. Um, another one that I want to highlight for you guys that's one of our favorites. You're okay. That is our favorites is Pandemonia. Guys, this one cracks me up. It's silly. It's kind of fun and tough to read, but it's about not waking the panda and what happens at the zoo if you wake the panda. Yeah. If you wake up the panda, he gets very grumpy, which hypes up the hippos and makes them all jumpy. When the hippos get jumpy, they usually hop, and once they begin, they're tricky to stop. Those hippos create such a hullabaloo, so don't wake the panda whatever you, you do. do. And goes through all this, I mean, it's fairly long, and it's super cute on all the different things that'll happen if you wake the panda. Oh, mommy. It's okay. Not right now, baby. 
Um, finally, I want to highlight for you some great deals. Um, these phonics readers are really great picture books to read. They're just fun. They can have really silly stories and goofy stuff in them, but they're great for those early readers. They've got um, rhythm and rhyme to them. You can get them $6.99 each. You can get a combined volume with 12 different stories in it and a CD for only $19.99. That is an amazing deal. Oh. But if you like the individuals, you can also get a set of these. There's 20 of them for $69.99. That's only $3.50 a book, guys. That's half price on the book. So if you wanna get min multiple of those, let me know and I'll get you the best deal. Honey, watch out. Okay, this is going way too long. Woo okay, I've got nonfiction books now. So we have everything from little kids that need to learn about manners. This is new. We were so excited. A book about manners. And this is actually pretty in-depth, you guys. You might be kind of mm. caught off guard by the price, yeah. but look at how in-depth this is. There's so much in it for them to learn about manners. I love it, love it, love it. There's also those that are learning to talk. This listen and learn is really, really great. You take out a card, you slip it in, and you push go. Food. And it says Cake. what each of these Ice words cream. are. So as they're learning their words, they can point at it and you can say, what's that? And they can sandwich. sandwich and they learn how to talk. It's really, really great. Um, so our nonfiction ones, like I said, those are for our littles. We have all kinds like that, but we also have these $5 subject books, guys. Hardbacks, simple, straightforward, little bits and pieces of information, not full pages of text, real life pictures, $5. These are amazing. Got everything from cats to dangerous animals. Um, there's tons of those. And then of course, as you, if you need help with homework, if you are a homeschooler, guys, all, a ton of the homeschool curriculums companies use our books and there are so many that can really help supplement for you. Um, this is a math dictionary that even this one likes to look at. It's really cute. Um, but these are amazing resources for you to help with school. Our encyclopedias, guys, you would often think, why would I want an encyclopedia at my home? This is why. Look at these full color pictures, little paragraphs of information. Guys, my nephew, since he's nine and he's now turned 13, he spends hours in our history encyclopedia. The kid loves it. I'm actually getting him his own because he's like beat mine up ridiculously. <laughs> So just don't discard our nonfiction. It's the most amazing set of books I've ever seen. Um, another one for our younger ones, but it also branches, like it will go until they're older because of the length of information they learn. It's called our big books. This is the big book of sea creatures. Hey Ellie, can you turn the volume of the music down? And it has all these amazing fold outs that are just awesome, but they just learn facts and information and kids love learning about something they're interested in. So don't, again, disregard um, our big books. Okay, I'm gonna do a different post on Shine Lights. Okay guys, Shine Lights are amazing, but you get to find a hidden picture. I might not do a separate post. Let's just get it over with, okay? So <laughs> this book here is one of my favorites because it's about the human body. The rest of them, there's like cars and winter and animals, all kinds of stuff. So. A new person's waiting to be born. Can you see her? Well, of course, they don't see anything. It's in the tummy. But when you shine a light behind it, you see that? You can see the baby in a tummy, which is super cute. You can see skeletons throughout this book. You can see muscles. And then, of course, we have about uh, 19 of these now. It's amazing. It's a huge, amazing set. All right, guys, chapter books. These I'm not going to spend long on, but I want you to know we have everything from our little ones who might be scared of the dark to our older kids who are just bored and need an exciting story to read. My nephew started these and hasn't stopped. He, there's six books in this set, and he is breezing through them and loving them. He's 13. Um, I've also gotten a 14, he's almost 15-year-old boy, into our Conspiracy 365 series. The last 13. I mean, you guys, for those reluctant readers, we have something for everyone. My daughter loves the EJ12 girl superhero stuff, pony crazed princess, but we've got stuff for the boys too. If you've got that really reluctant reader, we have graphic novels. There's Robin Hood, King Arthur, Dracula, 
King of uh, the Hound of Baskervilles, and there's one more that's a new one. I might not have come out yet, but we can keep an eye for it. So guys, look at this. Like we span the ages. We have everything from beginner readers to those high school. And honestly, I enjoy these books. Like the Phoenix Files. My nephews got me intrigued and I'm going to read them because they sound really cool. So don't, again, we have something for everyone. Guys, our activity books, ours are kind of beat up. We've got color books. We've got wipe clean books where you use a dry erase marker and you color in them. And you can redo them. Wipe them off, redo them, wipe them off, redo them. So thank you so much. I know this took a while, but I love giving you guys a general concept and giving you the idea of how much we really have. Guys, this is such a small bit. We have almost 2,000 books all, and we come out with new titles every six months and we try to release them in the middle of the season too. So technically every three months we come out with new books. So there is something for everyone and I want you to know I'm here for you. It's just like my bookshelf may be a mess, but I promise you I'm there for you. And we are here to help you find the books for your kids. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the party. Please jump back on the, or no, it'll automatically click us on to the next post. We'll play a couple games and then we'll um, learn a little bit more. Okay. Thank you guys. Uh